Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is JJ and today I have a pick a card. This is going to be all about who do you need to forgive at this time. Maybe you have been receiving the message, forgive, uh, make amends. Okay, so that's what I'm going to be doing. First of all, I want to do a special shout out to the beautiful lady who sent me these um, from the UK, I believe. Uh, she made this for me and she sent it on my PO box. Thank you very much. I love it. So if you hear any noise, that's what that is. And she sent me more stuff as well. So huge thank you to you, beautiful lady. Also, if you hear the fan in the background, is because it's really hot where I am at in Hawaii. And <clears throat> I need to have some type of air or else it's going to get really hot. So at this time, I want you to concentrate on who do you need to forgive. Someone needs to forgive their father or a strong male figure in your life, okay? And I'm going to leave that there. And I knew father was going to come up, and I know that. And I'm going to be picking one with you guys as well. This is too many cards. Okay. Yeah, for others of you, this is a sibling, a woman. Okay. What do you need to forgive? Walk away. Maybe a father walked out on you. Maybe a father walked out on you when you needed them. Maybe a male, a husband walked out on you when you needed them. Okay? Or maybe maybe you just never saw eye to eye with him or with that male. Or someone who has a very masculine energy and you decided to walk away. Maybe you're just like, I, I couldn't do this anymore, JJ. I needed to leave for my own sanity, for my own emotional well-being. I needed to leave this person behind. It caused, for a lot of you, I feel like this was a situation that um, a parent or a authority figure even, okay? Because these are general. So again, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. I am just a guide, you guys. I... If I touch it specifically, and when I hear comments like, JJ, it's like you described my life, I am so thankful for that. But that's not always going to be the case, okay, you guys? So take bits and pieces. Now, if you would like something personal, everything is listed in the description box below. But this feels like you needed to walk away from a father figure that, um, that wasn't... I feel like maybe he had high standards and you wanted to do something else with your life you wanted to be more adventurous you wanted to you know be the king of wands you wanted to try different things live by the passion live in the moment and because you went going back and forth with his expectations or this person's expectations and uh your what you wanted to live it's kind of like you were living in this internal struggle it was a constant fight uh ego fight with this person here and i feel like this drained you this wasn't emotionally serving you and so you needed to walk away from that um, and, and you're more happy now, okay? There's a lot of happiness and emotional stability now. But I feel like you need to forgive because even though, yes, this person, you know, and that's the thing with forgiveness, you guys, it's not for that person who hurt you. It's for you, for you to be able to move on and make peace. That doesn't mean go and have tea with them and invite them over. Just, you know, forgive. Forgive and be grateful for the, for the lessons that they taught you. And I know I'm going to hear in the comments, JJ, I can't forgive this person for, you know, for really bad things. And I, and I get it, okay? I'm not saying go and forgive this person or go and have tea and cuddle with them and, you know, reconnect. No, just forgive in your heart, you know? Who do you need to forgive in your heart? You don't even have to tell them, I forgive you. Just tell yourself, I forgive this person for what they did. You know, I'm choosing to make peace and have emotional stability within myself. And that is the point of forgiveness, right? So... We're going to see. Sorry for the long intro, you guys. I know a lot of you don't like it. A lot of you do. But, hey, it's my channel at the end of the day, right? So, let's see. Who do you need to forgive? Okay. Someone needs to forgive a cancer sign or a water sign person. Someone was in a relationship with that person. Yeah. They offered you the stars, the, the moon, and it didn't work out for whatever reason. Okay, I guess that one wants to come out there. Whoa. Okay. So this is how you're going to choose, you guys. You're going to choose either the Libra, the Knight of Cups, 
or the Ten of Cups. Okay. A lot of water signs are coming through <laughs> with the Knight of Cups and the Ten of Cups. A lot of you, some, someone needs to forgive family here. There's a family. Someone needs to forgive a husband, I am hearing. Someone needs to forgive a Libra individual, but the third person there. I'm, we're going to see the, the cards that come out underneath. Maybe there's more clarification there as to why you need to forgive this person or what this person did. Again, that doesn't mean go out and reconnect, okay? That's important because... some ASMR for you guys <laughs> shuffling today so how are you guys doing I'm doing great you guys I'm happy that Mercury is going direct today so that's exciting news remember all my videos are timeless even if I mentioned trances at the beginning of the videos or during the video I've watched videos that were meant to be watched three years ago supposedly according to trances and they still resonate with me like three years later so you know don't just get limited into a certain time frame. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. I'm hearing someone needs to forgive someone about their birth. Something happened during a birthday time and someone needs to forgive that person. I don't know if that person promised they were going to be there for your birthday and they never showed up or what this is. but Or someone didn't show up for your son's birthday something happened during a birthday during a spring birthday okay and this person i don't know something happened or maybe this person ruined the birthday i don't know what it was the celebration maybe yeah see <laughs> yeah. thank you spirit yeah some of you yeah in spirit is saying you have to let it go you have to let it go okay it seems to me like it was a birthday during springtime sorry you guys hear my chair Like always, everything is listed in the description box below. The timestamps are pinned in the comment section. Um, these are general readings, so take what resonates and leave the rest behind. We have option one, two, and three. I'm going to hear it at the comment section. JJ, you didn't give me enough time to choose. Okay. If you're not ready, please pause the video. Whenever you are ready, go down to the comment section where the timestamps where the time whoa where the timestamps are pinned. And once you are ready, you can click play and fast forward to your selected option. Okay, so we have option one, two, and three. Close your eyes, take several deep breaths, and choose the one that you feel most connected to. So we're gonna start off with option one. Like always, if you're not ready, click pause. So option one, who do you need to forget? Let's see. A king of pentacles. Maybe this is someone you worked with. Maybe this is someone you had a business with. Maybe this is someone you made a deal with. I'm hearing a deal. That wasn't part of the deal. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> so maybe someone owes you money. Maybe you lended this person money and this person never paid you back. Okay, that's kind of what I'm picking up here. I feel like this person was very stubborn and so are you. So I feel like you guys butted heads a lot. This person might have been a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn individual, Earth sign, or very much own their own business, or there was finances involved with this situation. Okay. I'm hearing I help I help them during their moment of need. Yeah, with the with the Knight of Cups. Yeah, I feel like somebody lended money to someone um and they didn't pay back i mean it, it feels to me like this person was in need when they asked you for their help and you lended them that help you offered them that help whether this is financial or a home because it's physical it's pentacles it could be you lended you gave them a room you gave them food you gave them clothing you gave them because something physical okay you guys so don't limit it only to um pentacles to money it could be that you offered them a job position. It could be that you offered them a, a deal of some sort, okay? And once this person got into a position of power, they never returned the favor, okay? And you were really hurt by this. I feel that, you know, you just... 
I feel for someone else, I'm getting this person lended, you lended money to this person and this person used it for alcohol. That seems very specific, so that's not going to be for everyone, you guys. But it feels like there's this guilt within you because you literally thought that this person was going to use this money for good. And it ended up that they used it for their their bad habits or their drinking habit, okay? Because they're showing me, Spirit showing me AA. So, I don't know. That's, again, these are general readings, so take what resonates. For some of you, it's just this person, you know, you offered them a job, you offered them money, and they just didn't end up paying you back, and it seems like they're not going to pay you back. For others of you, I'm getting like this person, you and this person couldn't see eye to eye, so there was a fallout. I felt like this person felt like they, 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 they were better than you in some way, whether because they had more money. Maybe, you know what I'm getting? spirit is saying roles reverse so maybe you were you went to this friend for assistance and this person turned out that they they denied you and you were really hoping that out of everyone this person was going to stick up for you this person was going to was going to be there and help you because they had a the possibilities and b they had the financial means and they were one of your closest friends pentacles is a strong tie it was a stable it was a long-term friendship or relationship or whatever this was and it turns out that when you ask for assistance this person did not help you okay that's what it feels like and it feels like it hurt you emotionally with the knight of cups here for some of you you need to forgive a water sign maybe they have a, 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 a thing here. i'm trying to read it all ways you guys because there's many of you so it feels like for others of you it feels like you need to forgive a younger water sign person i feel like this person was immature um, again, this goes back, maybe you lended money to this person, this person didn't use it for good things, okay? I'm getting heavily drinking, like drinking. Someone used it for drinking. Surrender to the wisdom of your body. Listen to your body's messages about a person or a situation. If you feel physically drained or uncomfortable, be cautious. If you're energized and happy, move forward. I feel like this person is going to come in to say, I'm sorry. I feel like maybe if this person hasn't reached out already to you, I feel like this person is on their way to reach out to you, okay? Another thing, I am getting that you, that's why I'm getting the sense of guilt here with you guys because it feels to me like you already knew this was a gamble. You already knew in your heart and in your gut you had felt it. Some of you even dreamt about this, that this situation was not going to lead to a good thing but you still took the risk you still went ahead and lent this person the money offered them shelter took them in comforted them nurtured them whatever it was you still took them in and and then that's where the guilt's coming in because you're like i knew it i should have known better and here's the thing you guys we all make silly decisions we always want to see the good in people okay it's and don't feel bad about that that's actually an honorable thing to have we need more people like that in the world. And yes, there are shitty people that take advantage of that, you know, it, but it's a learning lesson. And that's what we always need to remember. And it sucks because then people who really need that opportunity, we end up not giving them sometimes because we were done wrong in the past. Right. So, again, spirit is saying in order for you not to fall back into the situation, listen to your body and listen to that gut feeling. OK, um, if you're waiting for someone to pay you back, I honestly feel like this is lost. Like, this person is not going to pay you back. I do feel like someone is coming back. I said, for, like, forgive me, okay? Uh, is it sincere? Spirit is not giving you a yes or a no. They're saying, listen to your body, listen to your gut. Your intuition is going to be your best um, source of knowledge here. Let's look at the rest of your cards. Illumination enlightenment celebration yeah i feel like someone part i feel like someone partied i feel like you're really indecisive whether to forgive this person or not i feel like some of you maybe want to contact this person or this person has contacted you and you're just like i'm not sure jj if i should allow this person back into my life honestly spirit is saying you know listen to yourself listen to your body listen to your heart what is your heart and what does your soul say ultimately forgive the situation for your own good you don't even have to tell them like i said at the beginning and if you skip the intro you have to forgive for yourself and not for them 
okay? You don't even have to tell them if you don't feel like looking at this person or talking to this person. All you have to do is tell yourself during prayer, I forgive this person for what they did. Okay? Um, I'm also getting that there is something here that's going to be illuminated about the situation that you weren't un unaware of. So maybe, you know, maybe there's something more here than meets the eye. Autumn. So this person may be coming back during autumn autumn season you know to see i feel like you i feel like you lend them money or you offered them something it's kind of like they bit the hand that fed him you know kind of th that saying that no muerdas la mano que te da de comer in spanish is like that in english I'm, I'm guessing it's the same thing like don't don't bite the hand that feeds you that's kind of the energy that's going on here this could definitely be between a father and a son okay or between an older sibling i mean apply it how it fits in your life but i feel like during fall season which is right around the corner this person is gonna come back again maybe asking for the same thing for others of you offering a forgiveness and it has to do with money see and don't worry spirit is saying you know whatever it is that you lend it you lend it from your heart you gave it from your heart and you will receive gifts from spirit in return okay so essentially don't cry over what was lost or was seen lost because you are actually you know abundance is coming in okay because you did it out of your kindness of your heart to help this person and this person repaid you wrong and don't feel guilty for that it was a way for you to to you know get enlightened it was a lesson basically i changed my thoughts exactly don't feel guilty seeing money money's all over here so maybe land or deal i don't know what this is but definitely mon money assistance abundance was definitely there and i feel like finally it's kind of like you're coming back to life because you had let this situation really mess with your head and your thoughts about yourself and about other people but it's kind of like abundance is coming back to you you gave something out of the kindness of your heart. This woman is like holding onto her chest. It feels to me like she's really hurt. Like she's like, oh, I can't believe you did this to me. You know, me, that I helped you, that I, you know, that I really stood up for you. And for others of you, it's like, I thought you were going to be there for me. And you weren't there. That is what I am getting. Now I am going to pull... A romance angel card to kind of see I don't know I'm being drawn to do this so okay it flew out it's worth waiting for okay okay you guys so for some of you you know you're waiting for this person to come back you're like if this person comes back JJ I'm willing to take them back if that's the case spirit is telling you it's worth doing it you know it's up to you how you wish to forgive do you just wish to forgive in prayer send your blessings or do you wish to forgive and actually reconnect rekindle spirit is saying it'll be you know it'll be worth the wait if that's the case if you want to reconnect with that person physically for others of you i feel like this is someone who offered you their love and for whatever reason this person did not things didn't go through okay and if that's the case if this is someone who promised you hey we're gonna get together we're gonna be together but for some reason something happened then this person is coming back for autumn okay this person is coming back this could be a fire sign of oh, i said fire sign so maybe you're a fire sign they're a fire sign but i was gonna say earth sign and water okay because i feel like there's something that that's going on that meets the eye here that you're not seeing and i feel like spirit is saying if that was the case and you didn't know why this person walked out on you this is a love interest and you don't know why this person walked out on you spirit is saying there's going to be a, a moment of celebration because light is going to come into the situation. So maybe this person left for career purposes. Maybe this person walked out on you because of a job, because of an emergency with family or something. And you're going to find the answers by autumn. And I feel like it's going to change your thoughts about why this person left. And Spirit is saying it was definitely worth the wait. So there was two messages there. Apply the one that resonates. I wish you guys the best. And now I'm moving to option two. Okay, let's see so for option two who do you need to forgive four of swords you aren't in communication with this person you aren't you aren't speaking you, this situation went dead it went cold 
you I feel like it's okay I'm getting it's constantly in your mind even though you're not in communication with this person it's constantly in your mind you're constantly thinking about it you're constantly replaying it in your head and I am hearing from spirit you need to let your, those thoughts rest for others of you I'm getting this person is no longer alive this person is no longer with you um, I'm getting this person is no longer in the physical this person has passed away okay again that's not for everyone for others of you this seems like this person is in jail this this feels like jail to me like it feels like someone is in prison and you're not okay with what they did that's what it feels like i feel like you have to make peace with the situation inside yourself and in your mind because this is this for some reason this is something that happened in childhood okay And it's been constantly on your mind, constantly on your mind. And it's, and it's so much that is on your mind that it's made you a prisoner of your own mind. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. Oh, yeah. Ten of Cups. So this is someone that you were very close with. This is someone that, who you had a special bond with. It might have been someone you grew up with. Like a, a sibling. It could be a cousin. It could be a, like a friend. You know, like a childhood friend. I'm not picking up lover vibe here. I'm picking up more friend, family ties, like a like a brotherly love, like a like a family love. It's not like a lustful love or a relationship love. It feels more like you know, we were there. You have to make peace. See the peace sign here. That's a peace sign, right? I feel like it is. You have to make peace with that. Some of you have been drinking your mind away. Some of you have been numbing it with drinks. I'm, I'm being led to the cups here. That's not for everybody, so don't come at me for the judgment, uh, the, the comments here. It, it's not for everybody, but I feel like maybe the person who is not in a good situation, the person that you need to forgive, maybe, maybe they, they, they. You know what I'm getting? I'm gonna be completely honest here. It's not gonna be for everybody. What I'm getting here is. This feels like with this person, whether this is a brother, a cousin, a, a family a friend whatever whatever person or relationship you have with this person specifically spirit is saying it is a male and a female okay so it could be siblings could be cousins i'm getting like you guys always were together for a very long time like you always held each other through difficult situations this feels to me like brothers it feels like whether physically or metaphorically okay it feels like whenever you guys went through difficult situations, you always pulled each other out. You always were there to comfort each other. And then one of you fell off the wagon and did something bad and ended up in not a good situation. And you guys ended up not speaking. There was a fallout. And I feel like it's, it's the female is the one that's losing her peace of mind. She's the one carrying the peace. Or maybe you're the one. If you're the female, you're trying to make peace with the situation. And it feels like both of you were hurt by it. Because if you look at this man here, he's holding on to his chest. They both seem like hippies to me. So they both want peace. But peace and love. But I'm, I'm this person was hurt too. There, there's kind of like a letdown. Like I disappointed this person. This person disappointed me. And it feels like someone, they're not, your guys are not speaking, but it feels like you guys go back since you were a child. That's why I'm getting like brotherly, brotherly situation here. And I feel like maybe what, the reason why you can't make peace with this, with this person, is because this person has passed away. And, and it, I feel I'm getting the vibe of like, you guys, I don't like to touch stuff touchy subjects because then you know i hear all types of comments but i'm gonna try to keep it as um as i can't even i can't even find the word as general as possible it feels like someone was not leading a good life and they not they ended up for some reason you know not in a good situation and it feels like one of the other was saying you knew that your choices weren't correct you knew that the life that you were living or the choices that you were making were not going to take you to a good place and i feel like that's the where that's where the disappointment is for others of you this person like i said did pass away so you can't make actual peace with this person but i'm hearing maybe you go to their to their gravesite and you speak to them or through prayer okay communicate through prayer i feel like this person if this person is in spirit with you i feel like this person 
holds your hand still so he's there guiding you i feel like this is a he who you need to forgive you can interchange the roles if that's the case okay surrender to creativity yeah see this person comes through your imagination you have a lot of this person is kind of like your mirror too i'm getting Yeah, you don't know how to solve a problem. For some of you who who are like, no, JJ, this person's still alive. No, JJ, this person, you know, still I'm able to make contact with this person. Spirit is saying, you know, you're really wanting or someone here is really wanting to solve the problem and make peace. And Spirit is saying, yes, you could make peace, but you need to make peace in your mind within yourself first. Yeah, because see the... the, the the dryness here like the it looks like deserted it's kind of making me feel like there's no point in me reaching out when this person doesn't even want to look at what they've done it's kind of like they're hiding behind like they don't want to address the issue it's kind of what i'm getting here the swan queen so this is giving me queen of swords so maybe you are an air sign maybe the other person is an air sign transformation intuition and patience so if you're willing to make the contact if you're willing to forgive this person if you're willing to reach out spirit is saying right now it's not the time this person needs to go through some type of transformation first because again i feel like their choices or what they there's something that was a bad habit there was something there that was not healthy for them and they kind of knew it and you were always looking out for this person it feels and it's a spirit is saying you have to wait they have to go through some type of transformation i feel like if they're in solitude for whatever reason spirit is saying they need to go through that they need to have that transformation your intuition will tell you when it's time to reach out if you want to reach out if you don't okay that's fine but you need to make peace within your mind and soul and again have patience and the death 13 is transformation and for some of you, the 13th of death is telling me that this person is no longer with us. And, and here, it's in spirit. And spirit is saying, you know, just reach out through prayer or visiting where they are resting. Okay? For some of you, not for everybody. Yeah, there needs to be a change. I know this is dietary change. So for some of you, yes. You know, this person, like I said, went to drinking. And they need to they need to make that 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 change of not drinking. They need to improve their diet they need to improve what they're putting in their in their in their bodies whether this is drugs or alcohol because that's what i'm picking up and i'm not gonna lie um but again there needs to be a change okay if you do decide to reach out to this person before reaching out there has to be a transformation with this person after you reach out if you want to and you wish to continue having contact with this person there needs to be a change in the in the dynamic between the both of you okay see See, it feels like brotherly, like, like you know, someone you sit down and have tea with. For some of you, this could be a female. For some of you, this could be a parent. This could be a grandmother. This could be an old friend. Like, someone that feels like family. See, it's not like a lover, like my boyfriend or... No, it doesn't feel like that. It feels more like someone, you know, you go and sit and talk to. Kind of giving me the vibes of Six of Cups. Trust in divine timing, exactly. It's not time yet to reach out to this person. So if you were thinking about reaching out to this person, I feel like it's not time yet. This person needs to go through transformation. This person needs this time alone. You need this time alone as well to kind of gather your thoughts. And this person too. Okay, there's a change that's going to happen, but it's, again, it's all going to be in divine timing. They're highlighting 27 for me. So, again, 27 is all about family to me. It's, it's been my number for the whole year. So, I know this is like a family issue, like a family dynamic situation here. Maybe you're, maybe you have a mother or someone who's telling you, like, reach out, you know, contact this person. They're constantly on your ear telling you, like, you know, you know, their family, like, what are you doing? And maybe you in your head, you're like, it's not time for me yet. And that's what your intuition is telling you. And spirit is saying, you're right on the money. It's not time yet. Some transformation needs to take place. Some change needs to happen. And spirit wants you to know that you are safe in your relationships as long as you stay aware of any damaging behaviors. So if this person has behaviors that are not serving you and you put boundaries and you put walls, 
and you decide to keep them at a distance that is okay you shouldn't feel guilty for that okay even if you know it's a family situation i'm gonna pull a card here and yeah hard to hard conversations need to happen with this person and i feel like they will i feel like they will but again all in divine timing all in divine timing again i don't feel like this is love see we have the children card at the bottom so do you guys go back in childhood or maybe this is someone you have children with no I, no spirit saying no could be for some of you for someone maybe but i'm getting like did you guys were like siblings it feels like siblings You're going to honestly discuss and you're going to have that opportunity to honestly discuss your feelings for one another. But see, one person is not ready. One person is like, I want to make amends. See, they're holding hands the same as here. They're holding hands. So it's like someone wants to reach out. Someone is ready to talk. The other person isn't. And that's what I said. I feel like the female wants to make peace and the male is just like, uh-uh. This person is like, I'm not having it. I'm not listening to you. So if that's the case, if you're like in your heart, I want to discuss this. I want to talk. The spirit is saying, wait till this person goes through transformation. Let this person have their time to make peace with what they did, with what they need to make peace with. After that change happens, you guys will be able to reconnect and have that heart to heart conversation with each other. And I don't know why I'm getting emotionally, emotionally right now, but let me just end this before i start crying so that is the message and now for option three so those of you who chose option three who do you need to forgive four of cups maybe a water sign person maybe this person is reaching out to you but you're not <laughs> this feels you're you're the one that's not having it you're the one that's like nope why should i i'm angry you're angry at this person you're like i don't care if this person talks to me jj i don't care if this person messages me i'm not initiating contact and i'm not continuing contact with this person that's what it feels like do you work with this person Here's the thing. You might have worked with this person. You, you Maybe there was money involved with this person. I feel like you really wanted to make the relationship work with this person. But this person just for some reason did not want to make it work. Maybe with the Libra. I'm getting like... I'm getting like someone offered you a job, but then they didn't pull through. Someone offered you something like a contract, a deal, and for some reason, it didn't happen. Or they didn't put as much work into something. This feels like we were going to do this project together. We were going to work together on this, and then things went cold. This person, I'm being led to the snake, so this person was a snake. This person betrayed you in some way, it feels I'm getting music industry for some. I feel like this person did not speak something that they had in their mind. And I feel like you found out about it and it threw you off balance. I believe of scarcity. The universe is asking you to open to the infinite nature of abundance. And this way you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams. Again, this person has a stand. Look. This person sitting down, this person sitting down, this person sitting down, this person is just there. I feel like you're not forgiving. Like I I feel like no matter what this person comes back into my life, I'm not forgiving this person. That's what it feels like. Even if this person had a better offer, even if this person comes back with, you know, a good offer, with and that offer could be literally work, it could be like you know going out reconnecting rekindling the energy. it's like i'm not i'm not taking it um no i feel like someone was supposed to go out on a trip with someone or we were supposed to do this this is energy of like we were supposed to do this together and you left me out in the cold you left me to deal with this on my own that's what it feels like it feels like we were supposed that's what it feels like like we were supposed to be in this together 
and you just left me hanging and dry. Yeah, like dry and hanging, or what is it called? The same? I'm bad at that thing, guys, but that's what it feels like. See, he was supposed to be your dancer, your partner in crime. For some of you, this has something to do with music, dancing, music. This person was supposed to be your dancer. This person was supposed to be your partner. This person was supposed to be your route to somewhere. This person was to take you somewhere, and they didn't. They left you halfway there. And this person was to show you something. And they didn't. They ended up... I, I feel like... Uh, I feel like, you know... When somebody tells you, oh, don't worry, I'll, I'll help you with this, or I'll help, uh, I'll help you navigate this, or I'll help you solve this. And then all of a sudden, this person is like, oh, no, sorry, man, I can't do it. It's just, you know, something came up, or no, you know, I just can't do it. It's too much of a risk for me, something like that. For someone, this is, for someone, this is, a, this is with someone that you had a child with. This person is not giving you alimony. It's not giving you child support. It's not giving you... This person is lying about their work, I feel, to the court, too. I'm getting with the justice system. For others of you, it's like, we were supposed to raise my daughter. We were supposed to raise our daughter or our children, in that case, because this is general, together. But yet you walked out. But yet you weren't ready to, to raise this child with me. And so this person left you, left you figure, figuring it out on your own. I can't even speak. That's how angry I feel right now. <laughs> I'm taking up someone's energy. Someone feels really angry about this. And that's why this person is like, I don't know if this person, maybe the father of the child is trying to come back, reach out. And you're just, this person looks pissed off. And I feel it. Like this person feels like, mm -mm. you know, I'm focusing on work. Maybe you work with this person. Or I don't know, but it just feels like I'm angry and I'm not accepting your sad excuse of whatever this is. It, it feels like a lot of anger and a lot of resentment here. Yeah, you're just avoiding the situation. We have knowledge. You're just avoiding it. You're avoiding it. You're like, I'm not even looking at your offer. I'm not even looking at, at your cup here. Like... I'm going to focus on myself. I'm going to get better for myself. We were supposed to do this together, but I'm doing it on my own and watch me do it. That's kind of the energy that I'm getting. You might be a Sagittarius. You might be a Libra. We have Sag. We have Libra. We have Earth. And Water. Basically, we have almost all the signs. But specifically, we have Sag, the sign of Sag, the sign of Libra. So maybe this person is a Sag. Maybe you're the person that I was saying. This person was to pull through in a birthday and they ruined the birthday party of a child. That, if that, that was in the intro. I don't know if that would resonate with you. But since you do have like a child here. Yeah, this is a this is something about it involves a marriage. Okay, so maybe some of you, you know, it's like we were supposed to work at this marriage together and we didn't work at it. The chemistry died. Um, we were supposed to... I'm hearing like you were supposed to we were supposed to be together forever and look we ended up divorced that's kind of the energy that I'm getting and I feel like for some reason I don't know there's something about the custody with the children I'm getting there's something with the alimony of the children there's something with someone didn't get their fair share of alimony someone was left with less than what they deserved okay or this person was supposed to pay you some amount and you I'm also hearing that wasn't part of the deal. I don't know. I'm trying to get another card for the wedding. Let's see if I can get another one. Maybe for some of you, this person promised that you guys were going to get engaged and you ended up not getting engaged. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, I can't make this shit up, you guys. I'm sorry for the bad word, but really, I, this person. You guys saw me pull that card. I shuffled in front of you. And even before I pulled it, I was like, I feel like this person promised you to get married. You guys got engaged. And this person literally just left. Just left you like that. That's why I'm getting like this anger. It's this anger of like, I would be angry too if somebody left me in the altar, you know. 
it just kind of feels like that and I'm not laughing about you guys okay I'm just laughing because how surreal was I just pulled this card while I was talking about it and I feel like yeah this per yeah you guys were like I thought you were my soulmate I thought you were the one and it turns out that you weren't you left me there with all these wedding plans and all these beautiful dreams that I had already seen and for and seen myself and you and maybe even saw yourself with children already and it turns out that they just left you there Oh my god you guys i am so sorry for that and I, that's why i'm getting like you were supposed to be my dancer like you were supposed to be my, my you know when the when you dance with someone it's like your partner right we were supposed to work on this this a dance right they say marriage is a dance it takes two to tango so and i feel like this person just literally left like pulled back at the last minute got cold feet at the last minute and you were left to do this on your own and because we have Sagittarius here, I want to say that this person really valued their freedom. They probably even told you, like, I can't do this. I I don't want to be tied down right now and left you heartbroken. That's kind of the energy that I'm getting, you guys. So that is what I have for you guys. I hope this was helpful. I wish you guys the best, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.